Hey, Steve here with Pavati Marine. Today I'm going to show you guys how I like to fillet salmon. Uh, there's a lot of different ways of doing it, but uh, I thought I'd share with you how I like to do mine. Um, some of the things you'll want to have with you to, before you get started is a knife sharpener, um, a couple good sharp knives, uh, some bags, um, and I like to use a burlap sack to uh, put the fish down on while flaying it so it's not sliding around. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. We got a couple nice spring chinook here. Set this guy up here for now. Okay, first thing I like to do is get the fins off the sand. So I'll use my bigger knife for this job. First thing I do is I lay the salmon down. Most of the weight of the salmon's actually laying flat on the table. And then I'll just come in on this fin and just cut that guy right off. I roll the salmon over, cut the back fins off and the dorsal fin. Roll it one more time. And I'll come in right here below these belly fins. And these should come off a little easier, but there we go. Pull it out of the way. It's good to have a knife sharper handy. These work really good. A couple swipes. Keeps your blade edge sharp. Okay, now that you got the, the fins off the salmon, the next step is going to be to get the fillet off. So I'd like to have the back facing me on the salmon. Um, and I'll lay them out like this. Come in behind this fin right here, right below, behind the gill plate, and I hold on to that. That gives you a kind of a place to hold. And you'll start your cut here, kind of angling up toward the head until you hit the spine. So nice, nice down, right down to the spine. Then, you're gonna turn the tip of your blade, come back out a little bit, turn the tip, and start to cut the rib bones. And run your blade right along that spine. And it's kind of a sawing motion. All the way out to the tail. Now you can remove the filet off the salmon. You can see we went down to the spine with the blade. So what you're doing now that this is off, you're coming in up to the spine, you're backing out, using the tip of the blade and a sawing motion along the spine. Now you'll notice there's some meat left in here that's below the spine. And this makes good uh, sandburger meat. What you can do here is you come in with your little knife and just push up against the carcass, both directions. And you'll get that little strip of missed meat. It's good for smoked, smoked stuff or like I said, sandburger. Sandburgers work really good there for that. Same thing right here below the spine. Just push down. And you'll get a little extra meat there. Okay. You just roll the salmon over to the other side. Same thing. Sharpen our knife. A couple, couple swipes. Grab a hold of the fin. Right down to the spine. Back your knife out, turn it, cut through the rib bones. Follow that spine all the way down. A 
that's it. What's left here? It's a nice filet. This is where we switch to our smaller knife. Again, I like the back facing me <clears throat> when I do this. Come in behind the, the rib bones, make a little score with the tip of your blade. And once you get it in there, just start turning the blade up toward the back of the bones. And that gives you this nice, right up against the bones. So you're just gonna work that all the way down with the tip of the blade you get to the end of the bones. Then you'll notice there's some there's some fat and maybe some some bones and stuff left left in here from the dorsal. You want to trim that out. You're just going to come in and trim that. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Steve with the Body Marine Tight Lines.